Hello my spooky family and welcome back to another video. Today's video has something to do with my hat. If you're wondering why is she wearing a Mickey Mouse hat, um, it is because I am going to Disneyland's Bats Day. I'm so excited. Uh, I am going this weekend, May 7th, which by the time I post this, it is no longer going to be May 7th. It'll be way further down the line, but um, don't worry because they have two Bats Days, I believe, throughout the year. Um, one closer, I think, uh, to Halloween, and then they have one in May because it's halfway to Halloween. So I'm super excited. This is going to be my first Bats Day ever, and I'm going with my mom that is a fellow goth. So let me tell you what Bats Day is before we get to to into what we're doing in this video. Now, Bats Day is the original Disney goth day, which actually started in 1999. I was born in 98, so I am a little baby bat. Um, and I started hearing about it when I got into the spooky community a little bit more when it came to like the Disney spooky community. And not gonna lie, I have wanted to go ever since. I was like, I need to go. And um, out of coincidence, I actually was going to go to California for a not so pleasure trip um, that was like family stuff. And um, that got canceled, but I had to cancel my flight. And well, I paid $250 to go on a spirit flight and they only refunded me 80. And I was like, what am I going to do? Because I have 90 days to use it. I can't go um, out you know, later in the 90 days, I am only available in May. And it happened to land during Bats Day that I was like, hey, I've never done anything with my mom, just me and her. And Mother's Day is literally right around the corner there. So I was like, mom, you want to go to Bats Day? And since my mom was a fellow goth, she was like, yeah. So of course, we're gonna have a vlog of that coming as well. But um, why why am I doing this video? Sorry, I'm rambling. Y'all know, if you're new here, hi, I'm Rocio. But um, I ramble a lot and I live a Halloween lifestyle and I'm an artist and I'm a cosplayer um, and I'm a Disney adult. Yeah, and I'm weird. That's cool, we're weird here. Um, <laughs> but weird is cool because we're unique. So um, what are we doing in this video? we're making this hat into a bat stay hat. So how am I gonna do that? First of all, I ended up getting this Disney Mickey hat um, from the park. I had my brother and his wife bring it back from Disneyland for me because I have one, but it is the first one I had ever, ever gotten. So I wanted to keep that as a memento as the first hat I have ever gotten, um, but this one's going to be deconstructed. I had them embroider my name on the back. They said that they were out of gold embroidery, which I really wanted the gold embroidery. So they got me pink embroidery. That's how you spell my name, R-O-C-I-O. -O. People always butcher it. Um, so once you buy this at Disney, which I believe is like 25 to 30 bucks um, with the embroidery on the back, you do a couple things. So I went to the Bats Day website, um, which is on their link tree on, um, on Instagram, but the website is literally just batsday.net. So if you guys want to check that out, these may or may not be stocked right now because they sell like that. So I ended up buying this set a while back. So they give you instructions and everything, and it is a Bats Day patch. And this one is one of the original ones, one of the older ones. So um, it looks a little, um, I don't know, different than the newer one. So this was the only one that was available like a year or two ago when I found them online. So I ended up getting this one, but there was another super cool one. And then it also comes with the bat which this is what we're replacing the Mickey ears with. And they are made of the same material and everything. Um, like I said, there's instructions, but recently they restocked this set right here. So like I said, they come with instructions. So let me just pull up the instructions. This is the 
patch that I wanted. This right here, look at this bad boy. It is so cute. And I, I have to put this on, even though the pink stitching goes better with the purple one. I like this one better. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. These are iron on patches. Um, but of course the most important part is doing the ears first. We'll do the patch last. Um, I will go ahead and, you know, and grab my little, um, iron and everything. Cause we do also need to kind of rip this patch off of the hat. Um, and the reason I think you might be able to find this hat on like Amazon, just like a plain, you know, hat, but I wanted it embroidered. And then I also wanted like the Disney stuff in the inside. So I needed to be a little extra. So I believe this kit was like 25 bucks as well. Something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head. Let me double check for y'all on the website. Yes. So it is $25. Uh, plus shipping and handling. They do have one more patch that I want and it's this patch right here. So I will probably make more hats later on. Um, while I'm at Disney, depending on how my wallet is, cause it's kind of tight right now. I did not expect to go to Disney and I ended up paying flight tickets and parking for me and my mom, um, which was expensive cause it was very last minute. Um, I may get two other hats so I can do this patch and then I can do that patch later on. So it'd be cool to just have, um, three bad stay hats. Nothing wrong with that. No options. <laughs> so, um, like I said, patch is going to be the very last thing we're going to go ahead and start by doing, um, the hat. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading off the instructions here for y'all. All right. So like I said, they included instructions. So we're actually going to go ahead and get into it. Let me go ahead and tell you what we need so in case you bought the kit you got everything you want to follow along now first you're of course going to need your mouse ear hat it could be of any style they have many different styles i have a, lim a limited edition one right behind me that i don't want to use because it's a limited edition one but if you want to use a really cool limited edition one that would look really awesome so definitely one of these you could get it at disney you could get it online um and you will also need some scissors two large binder clips and you will need E6000 glue. So this I got at Home Depot. And then you will of course need your ears, which will come with your packaging once you buy it from them and your patch that you decided to go with. So once you have all of that, um, we can get started. So this is an iron on patch, but they recommend to use the E6000 glue with it. So that's what we're going to do because E6000 bonds really well. But if you want to iron this on, then you will also need a mini iron or an iron of some sort to attach this. Now let's go ahead and get started, my spooky fam. All right. So we got our hat here and we're going to be following the steps. I did switch out my scissors for some thinner scissors after reading the instructions. Highly recommend having some sharper scissors. Um, the first step is actually to remove these ears from the um, Mickey hat. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to start by cutting these sections off right here. So we're only cutting the corners of each and all the way around. We want to keep the grommet area there. So I'm going to do that and repeat it on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that first. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have removed both of my mouse ears now. This is how it looks. You want to make sure that you have it in that shape there. The grommets um, are cut off, so I do have a little bit of lift here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors and just take off that so it's nice and flat. And just go through the other side and make sure I take off that as well here. And once you have it nice and cut, flat. You're going to go ahead and keep that there. Next part is to actually start gluing on the ears. So these are the ears that I got from batsday.net 
and we're gonna go ahead and attach them on. So if you look at the ears here, you'll see that there is two little holes there for the grommets essentially that are on here. And it is the same on the other ear. So you want to make sure that they're attached on the correct sides. This is how the hat's gonna look if you attach it right here on the ears. And we're gonna apply this with E6000 glue. So the first step is to go ahead and align it. So you want to make sure that these holes are aligned there. So that's how they're supposed to be. Because the hole is a little bit um, lower, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut this section off right here too, because I want it to not be peeking out. So now that, that section is cut out, align it one more time, and that aligns perfectly without any plastic peeking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this step and do it on the other side with this ear just to make sure, because I might have some peeking out as well. Yep, looks like I'll have some peeking out. So I'm just gonna cut just a little bit. There we go. All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and start gluing with the E6000. The E6000 does spew out very quickly. So, and a little goes a long way. So we're actually gonna start by placing the glue on the um, ear piece here, only on this piece right here. And um, then we're gonna attach the wing onto it. So let's go ahead and start by doing that next. All right, so I had to fold the hat because it was starting to fall. I need to get a clip here and you're gonna go ahead and clip on your ear so it can set like that. I put too much E6000 glue because um, that E6000 runs real quick. Like it's literally dripping on my table because I forgot to put the lid on it because of how fast it was going out. So you're just gonna leave that there to dry with the clip and you do need to leave it on there for 24 hours. Now we're gonna repeat the other side. So I'm doing this side again. I'm trying to go around the grommets so the glue does not go inside of the grommets. Just trying to do it on the plastic as best as I can. And I'm gonna grab my other ear here and plop it on. Alrighty, so now I have the clips on there. As you can see, the hat is folded. So I'm just gonna double check that the glue isn't going through here. Okay, so there's that. Um, so I'm gonna see if I could try removing this patch next, and then I can apply my patch on there, or if I just wanna apply this over it. Um, I kind of want to keep this one, so I'm going to see if I could just, you know, rip this off. So that's what we're going to do next, is just rip off this patch. Some people just put the patch right on top of the other one, but I want to keep this, so I'm going to try peeling this off, and then I'm going to glue this with E6000. You could iron it on, but it's recommended to do it with the E6000 glue. So let me go ahead and rip this off first. Alrighty, my patch has been removed, so now I'm going to apply the E6000 glue 
on to this portion and then I will go ahead and glue it on because as you can see it fits there perfectly. Um, I could have the ears sticking up or I can have it all the way down. I know people that have the ears sticking up on their hats so I don't know. Um, I guess it's just going to be like a whatever you're feeling. Um, we'll see how it looks just stick down and then if I want it like fully stuck down and I'll just go ahead and fully stick it down. But I kind of want the bat ears to be sticking out, to be honest. It looks really cute that way. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that looks. So let's go ahead and just put on some E6000 glue here. And then we'll go ahead and stick that on. Now here it is all finished. I do need to let it dry for 24 hours. Um, I just kind of took it out so I could show y'all real quick. This is how it came out. I did have some complications with this. So I did like a mixture of the glue and then I tried ironing it a little bit. Um, you really just have to hold it down for quite some time so it kind of sticks. I did go with the ears sticking up like these guys. I got glue on the back back here and I just marked it in with a little bit of black sharpie. I would say for the first time me making one of these it was fairly easy. Um, be very careful to not get glue inside the grommets because then it'll slip into the hat. Um, I also did that mistake as well so I had to like rub off some of the glue um, and make sure that your paper clip or clips you know the the clips don't have glue because look this is what happened when I folded it over. Um, so there's some things that I learned but I hope this helped. Um, Y'all, you know, put your Bats Day hat together, and I hope to see you at Bats Day at some point. Um, I'm really excited, so I hope this helped. Alright, until next time, Spooky Bam, which I will be recording Bats Day with my mama, so I'm excited. Alright, bye!